God, how I hate you, you young, cheerful men, whose pious poetry blossoms on your graves as soon as you are in them. Hark how one chants. Oh, happy to have lived these epic days. These epic days. And he'd been to France and seen the trenches, glimpsed the huddled dead in the periscope hung on the rusty wire, choked by their sickly feeter day and night blown down his throat, stumbled through ruined hearths, proved all that muddy brown monotony where blood's the only coloured thing. Perhaps had seen a man killed, a sentry shot at night, hunched as he fell, his feet on the firing step, his neck against the back slope of the trench, and the rest doubled between. His head smashed like an eggshell, and the warm grey brain spattered all bloody on the parados. Yet still God's in his heaven, all is right, in this best possible of worlds. God loves us. God looks down on this our strife and smiles in pity, blows a pipe at times and calls some warriors home. How rare life is. On earth, the love and fellowship of men, men sternly banded, banded for what end? Banded to maim and kill their fellow men, for even Huns are men. In heaven above, a genial umpire, a good judge of sport, won't let us hurt each other. Let's rejoice, God keeps us faithful, pens us still in fold. And what a faith is ours! Almost it seems large as a mustard seed. We trust and trust, nothing can shake us. Ah, how good God is to suffer us be born just now, when youth that else would rust can slake his blade in gore, where very God himself does seem to walk the bloody fields of Flanders he so loves. <laughs>